This is a waterfowl population update with Migration Station, and this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Drake Waterfowl. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service just released this year's Breeding Waterfowl Population and Habitat Survey, or BPOP for short. Among other things, the BPOP outlines the status of wetlands critical for breeding success, known as the May Pond Count, and the population of breeding adult waterfowl species in the traditional and eastern survey regions. These regions comprise over 2 million square miles of the principal breeding grounds, and are broken up into 70 different subregions called strata. Within these strata, low-altitude flights are conducted along predetermined routes where biologists count wetlands and adult waterfowl within 200 meters on either side of their aircraft. And from these counts, the overall population of breeding waterfowl in May ponds can be extrapolated or extended to the entire strata and then the entire survey region. So now that we know what the BPOP report is, what did this year's report say? Well, in the traditional survey region, which covers most of the Pacific, Central, and Mississippi flyways, both the May pond count and the total estimate of all duck species were down about 5-10% to 10 compared to this time last year. With respect to specific species populations, notable increases occurred in green-winged teal, pintail, and canvasback. Conversely, decreases occurred in all other major duck species, with mallards and blue-winged teal bearing the largest year-over-year -year drop. However, folks in the Atlantic flyaway will be pleased to hear that in the Eastern Survey region, the total breeding population for the six most abundant duck species was up about 5% compared to last year. So while at first glance this information certainly begins to paint a less than ideal picture for the upcoming season, there is always more of the story to be told. Breeding adult population is one thing, but breeding success is another thing entirely, and it takes both to make or break a successful fall flight. So be sure to follow along for our next videos, where we'll be covering the rest of this story and more, including our expectations for the season ahead. As always, thank you. This has been Migration Station's Waterfowl Population Update, brought to you by our sponsor, Drake Waterfowl.